All right, guys, talking about some Glock barrels and compensators for two, three years, I guess since 2019, maybe early 2020, I've ran the KKM Precision barrel and their compensator on a uh, on, on Glocks. Uh, first a Gen 4 Glock, then I switched up my compensators for the Gen 5 version. So I've had it a minute. It's a great shooting barrel and the comp works awesome. However, it's just very large. It takes the a Glock 19 up to the size, the length of a 34. And I wanted something a little bit smaller. Started looking around and I found the Parker Mountain Machine uh, JTTC, the Micro. It takes it to the length of a 17. So, ordered the barrel and I ordered the comp from P PPM or PMM and it was great. I couldn't find really much information about it on YouTube or, or anything, or really any reviews outside of just on their website. And while I was waiting on it, uh, 10 8 Performance did their review, and they did that dude did an awesome job reviewing this barrel and comp. Uh, way better than I could do. So I'm not even going to try to do that. And I'm just going to tell you, go watch his video on, on this. But while I was waiting on this, I seen on the Instagram that Agency Arms had released their Sage Edition Barrel and Comp. So, bought one. And it took a little while. It took, took me about, it took about a week for them to ship it, but it might have been because they were moving from uh, California to another state. And I think I ordered it like right in the middle of that. So, that might be why, because it took almost a week for them to ship and then about four days to get it to me. Uh, so I got this one and I put this one on my Glock first just because it's super easy to uh, take it on and off where the Parker Mountain requires some thread locker and some shims like like you're going to mount like a Surefire War Comp or Muzzle Break or something to your AR. Uh, the agency doesn't. You just basically stick a barrel in, screw this down and... Uh, Time it up with your slide and then use their recoil guide rod and that's it. There's nothing else to it. So since this was so easy to take on and off, I started out with this one. Uh, and I actually shot it today. And I tell you what, this barrel shot great. I had a few little issues with some really light, some like Blazer aluminum, CCI aluminum, 9mm 115s at first but by the end of the range trip I was there for about two hours i put about 350 400 rounds through through this today by the end of it it was cycling the uh blazer aluminum um so i was really impressed the accuracy is fantastic and the uh the, the compensator worked great it really tamed i shot some plus p ammo some hst plus p through it and uh it, it it was it was quite tame it was it was doing a good job and like i said the accuracy is phenomenal out of this agency barrel i really like it at the machining of the threads there, there's no slop in the threads at at all where there is a little bit with the parker mountain i'm not knocking a parker mountain guys i'm sure they make a great product and i'm just comparing an apple to an orange here but uh or maybe a red delicious to a granny smith apple but uh it's a little bit of a uh, little bit of thread slop in that not it's probably nothing at all wrong with it but uh machining just a little bit tighter in the agency and this thing uh shoots really good i have never shot a parker mountain barrel so i have no idea the accuracy i'm gonna run I'm going to shoot this one for two or three more range trips, and I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to put the Parker Mountain in the gun with their compensator, and we'll see, I have like a comparison between the two barrels and comps. But uh, I guess I'll update as we go along, so you can just take this as a part one of uh, the barrel and compensator for uh, a Glock 19. Agency and Parker Mountain. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for part two.